Hey everybody, this is Rhino and we're back to Lego The Lord of the Rings. Let's continue the story. I guess we're not going to conclude the story <laughs> here. Uh, wow, we're starting this episode on a sad note too. No. This guy dying, although, frankly, in the video game by itself, there has not been enough characterization of any of the characters. Yeah, that's kind of funny. Frodo's fate is no longer in our hands. Those little pachinko he sounds no going off. Mary and Pippin to torment and death. Let us hunt some folk. <sighs> he shotgun loaded his axe. That's pretty funny. They needed so many more of those gags in this game. Mordor. At the beginning. I hope the others find a safer road. Strider will look after. You have to Sam. really catch people's attention but with the funniness for Lego games at the beginning. Yeah, she's, he's making him carry all the stuff. I made a mistake here. Did I not get the whole game? Now, Lego games in general do kind of do some of this, like the Lego Star Wars, uh, the complete target is two games compared, completed. You got at first episode four, five, and six, and then you got episode one, two, and three, and then, but the version I got had them all combined and fixed a few issues. Because I got Lego Lord of the Rings, is there supposed to be a Lego Lord of the Rings 2 that I missed? That's not on Steam? It doesn't make any sense. Have I just dropped the ball completely? Well, imagine for a moment here that you are a little, little kid. And that's where the story ends. At none of the big thing. None of the none of the big events happen. At all. This would be very, very disappointing. Now I know there's Lego the Hobbit. I have that, but the Hobbit takes place before the Lord of the Rings story. So unless they just named the sequel Lego the Hobbit when it shouldn't have been, this seems like this is all there is. And this game felt like it was missing stuff before. Wow, it's missing an ending. Some Lego games can be pretty bad. This one feels atrociously bad. Well, we do have the free play stuff to do. So, there is a little bit more to play, but... If I can't... If this doesn't, after this cutscene, uh, this credits, which I'm probably going to skip in a second. If this doesn't move me on to a next section, uh, and continue the story, and that in some weird way they just left the ending of the first half, first game going straight to credits I'm gonna be very disappointed now in Lego Star Wars this did happen but it was presented in such a way that you kind of knew there was still a lot more to do we haven't seen a hub world that directly points to a numbered levels so we haven't seen somewhere where it says Lord of the Rings episode 2 level one so that it's very very strange feeling here is this the end or is this just a terribly placed credit scene uh, we're at the very special thanks I suppose we might as well go I would be irate as a little kid if this was it at the very least, there needed to be 
some more cutscenes at the end. <clears throat> the problem with playing kids games. Uh, as a YouTuber, as so a video game critic it, in general, the problem with playing kids games is that they are sold to kids and people think they can get away with making poor quality for the kids. And they kind of can because a lot of parents will buy the game and not take, them ba take it back if it's bad or be able to get a refund if it's bad. Uh, also, it's, it's not really a situation that if you make a bad game that you're going to burn that kid from ever wanting to play video games again or even playing your video games again. Kids have a terrible time thinking and keeping in their head not to play EA games because they're awful or not to play U Ubisoft games because they have you play in them uh, uh, as just general examples that may not be true. Uh, so I doubt very many kids are going to realize that after playing this they'd say, well I'm never playing a WB game again. Or I'm never playing a Telltale game again. Telltale being the makers of Lego games, WB being the licensor of The Lord of the Rings, and it feels a lot like TT Games also might have, might be a subsidiary of WB in some ways too. Credits here are incredibly long for a kid's game. I guess we have to skip, don't we? I guess we do. Uh, we gotta get to the bottom of this. So I'm gonna hit A, and it says I'm 10.2% done. Let's see where this takes me. We're on Mount Doom, I think. So where is this taking me? We're seeing a different loading screen now. That's what this is. It's a hidden loading screen. It should say loading somewhere. That's terrible to not say loading. Let's face it, Mr. Frodo. We're lost. Wow. I don't think Gandalf meant for us to come this way. He didn't mean for a lot of things to happen, Sam. What a weird way to just put the credits in there. They should have cut that out Ooh. in the combined versions. I mean, wow. As a mature video game player, I was a few seconds away from rage quitting. Uh, a little kid very easily could have rage quit through that credits. And there's zero indication that the rest of the game exists. And yeah, no. what is it, Mr. Furrow? Nothing. Just a dream. A little split screen action here in completely different places. I guess I just wanted to indicate that these are this is happening at the same time. So it feels like we're like five seconds from the end of the game, but we are you would think with the credits like that, we are either one third of the way done with the game or halfway done with the game. Because they couldn't simply just add, like, one last level and be done with it. Uh, but let's get back to the point. That The point that we just saw the credits was the first game for when they first released it. That's unacceptably incomplete. Unacceptably incomplete. However, I can already kind of feel just in the color here 
that it feels like the A team made this game, this second half of the game. This is a standard Lego Tetris puzzle I'm looking at, and we didn't have any of that. There was barely any Lego building of any kind uh, in the first game. Yeah, you get this clever little map showing you exactly what they want you to do. And it's, it's really difficult to actually do these puzzles though. So... Like, you gotta get this just right. It, it, the game the game really doesn't want you to connect them quite right. I want to do this right, and it should snap in. It doesn't feel like it is going to. It makes some room. No, it's not supposed to connect to the red one. gets used pretty frequently in LEGO games and it's never quite smooth sad to say um, red brick piece I've gone all this way I want to I want that red bird piece to, to disconnect here. Let's just, you know what, just take this and just throw it off the side. That's an easier way to solve it. This really should be achievable with a simple action such as I not quite perfect. And I don't think you'd get anything for doing it perfectly. I'm wasting too much time here. Uh, how did he get here? This is a good question. Also, it's only these three guys now. But last we saw, this guy was at the bottom of a mine at Gandalf the Grey, and now he's somehow climbing to the top of a frozen tower to do what? I don't know. Is he trying to get to Mount Doom? Is he trying to, in some other way, help? The Balrog chased him from the bottom of the mine up to the top of a frozen tower. Alright, so let's assume that this tower is just above. Well, oh, that was a lucky jump. Let's just assume it's at the top of the mine. So, we're doing a little jump rope here. It feels like.
charge it up and fire. I have to fire as it means. So, did this happen in the movies? Or the book? Was, did he take lightning and charge his sword and fight the ball? Did he fight the ball rock again at all? Or is this all just new content? I suppose at this point I could also leave and just go play as Frodo for whatever little amount that would help me. I assume I'm gonna have to play the Fro Frodo section in a second. Is it gonna become a scenario where it takes us another few hours to get to the top of the mountain? I know that in the movie, at least it seemed like it, that the final Lord of the movie was three hours of a battle that we haven't done yet. So there's room for that to play out. How you would play that scene, I'm not sure. Lego uh, TT games, not Lego. Like they go just license their their concept of many things. And that's about all they did. GD Games has some some explaining to do about selling half a game to kids. Uh, they do it a lot. And you have to be very careful to do your research and make sure you're getting an actual complete game when you buy them. Uh, Steam is pretty good because I don't think they really make it that difficult, but now that they've added DLC into the faction, you can, you still can be missing out on some, some of the game. Alright, so now I think we're going to fight Golem with some fish. Again, I would really like to know if Golem is a as a hobbit, or if he was always like that, or what. Just gotta pick up some fish. I have to throw the fish into the bucket to open the gate. So a little bit of a difficult and I, I would argue incorrect decision was made in depicting those two scenes uh, because we see him and then in his mind he kind of sees Gandalf the Grey fight Balrog uh, something he should have no knowledge of at all we still haven't seen an ability to con this I guess the fact that I haven't seen uh, the elven rope thing work yet yeah, tells me something. Should have told me that there was more game here. But that also means that the first game probably was slightly different or they just handed you the elven rope and all those, well, you would have had all those things, actually, by the time at, at you got the free play. Hmm. This, the second game integrated still has a bad system in which you, it's asking you if you want to combine things for, like, the one time you actually do combine things. And I still think there's some other things we'll have to get out of quests before we can come back and do free play mode and just make 100% sure we can collect everything. I just want to finish the story right now. And I guess it's it's 
gonna be a while. This is gonna be quite the interesting job they're gonna have to pull off. To stretch out what feels like the last five minutes of this, the game into several more hours. Does he have anything that would let him hit that target? No. So that's something I'll have to do in three plays. Also, hitting these rocks with the flask, magical flask that could very easily break. What would be interesting is let's have this guy drop this and this guy pick it up and then see if we can actually fill up his inventory and if it will let me carry more items. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. I didn't mean to put the fire down. Let's see. We have, nope, wrong button. A B button to switch items and a Y button to switch characters. this way in the hopes that it will get Sam back up to where he belongs. <laughs> nope, Sam couldn't figure it out. Oh. I don't know why he couldn't figure it out. go this way and see if we can pick up two more things. This is a very rounded area. I had to drastically flat planar areas uh, flat plane areas of the first game but maybe it's just my perception I it feels like there's way more interaction we've seen in this level than many of the other levels Oh, this is a big round circle. That makes it nice. Because we've been here before. We're going in circles. Yep. Give me all these studs. Go ahead and start this fire. I'm giving up all my quests to fill up his inventory to see what happens. Did we get everything else? I think we mostly did. Well, I think he needs to pick up some stuff. Over here. Hmm. Come on. The 
leaves aren't springy. Which is a little strange for... Usually they're bouncy. Either way, I was having trouble getting up to that section. I... So you take that fish. There we go. Do I have anything more? Elven cloak. An elven cloak makes you disappear? It's it's a little strange I don't have the ring. One would think. One would think the ring would be an important item you could use at any time. But then I guess I kinda also hurts the story if you were to actually use the ring when you weren't when the story didn't dictate that you had to. Because it would both corrupt you and uh, infect you with Sauron and show you the Sauron. <sighs> Falls asleep with his teddy bear. Was that joke played at all? No, I don't think it was until we got to the second game. Hmm. The teddy bear. You know, in reality, Golem kinda did protect the ring from everyone else for 500 years. Ooh, fish. I love Lego fishing games. So, I mean, despite his craziness, he did the world a service. The land of Middle Earth. The service. Is Middle Earth the only land in this world? That's an interesting question. Or is there perhaps a North Earth or South Earth or uh, East w Earth, West Earth? There we go. I'll knock him down with a fish. Probably can use the file of darkness. He's just trying to hit me with a fish and it's not working. My thing is not working. Attach the hook. Fight, fight, fight! It really is kind of a struggle between two little kids. Sorta. Of. Doesn't feel like your standard uh, super strong warrior. Uh, Sam, can you dig this? Can you dig it, Sam? I'm doing all these things, but I don't know particularly what I'm gonna, what I'm accomplishing by doing these things. That is a kind of common thing to happen in LEGO games too, is you'll just all of a sudden like Mary can use this fishing rod to fish for jetties. Well I have the fishing hook. I need now the a stick. Up. But yeah, oftentimes you'll just be running around for no apparent reason, trying everything until something happens. Uh, that's a very difficult problem to avoid, I will get, grant them that. But it's something that they need to work very hard to try to avoid. I bet this gives me a stick. These stick looking plants. Uh, Particularly for a kid's game, your desire is to, there you go, fishing rod and hook now built, is to 
make the kid feel smart. And I don't think the kid is gonna, a child would feel smart if you're, uh, am I missing string? He has the rope, so he needs to drop that rope and then pick this up and put it with the fishing rod. And now I've got the fishing rod. And so now we know what those three extra quests are in each level. It's assembling a combination of multiple items. So actually building something out of Legos in a Lego game which is actually not very common at all. You, you very rarely build anything with Legos in a Lego game. You have the fake build that happens a lot, where you just hold B and then a pile of what looks like Legos turn into whatever the game decides. However, in reality, it's not actual building. I would love a Lego game where you actually just built sets. Where it was like all the really obscure and rare sets that you couldn't hope to ever actually afford because they're out of print were just digitalized and there was a good system for picking up pieces. It would almost certainly have to be something like a, a virtual reality game with some kind of force feedback for picking up pieces. It would have to feel like you are actually building uh, not using a controller. So it's the same fight sequence again. They, they are coming, working with a game that's called LEGO World that is somewhat like that but not enough like it. It's You can make your own items and import them and it's a kind of open world Lego en environment. It, it's definitely missing a lot of the fun parts of these games, but I think by necessity that might need to be the case if you're gonna really just focus on building Legos. You can't. You have, wouldn't be able to cheat like this game cheats sometimes. To pretend like Lego things can do things they can't. For instance, the minifigs you see here are bending in ways they You've could never. You've seen it before, haven't you? Go. Hmm. So why are they dragging with us? You know the way to Mordor. Hmm. You will lead us to the Black Gate. You don't see it, do you? He's a villain. sound effect when you don't complete the quests. Let's look at our stud count for a second here. We, we're at 267,000 studs. I suspect we'll need 500,000 before we um, can get the first score multiplier. And then as I'm playing the free play world stuff, the, I'll probably need a million to get the next score multiplier, and I'll, 
and so on and so on. Hmm. Well, this certainly has been a weird episode. We start with the credits, we end with uh, the second game starting. What a weird, weird way to, to provide feedback. They should have taken those credits out. I mean, done something with it. Hide it. Skip it. Merge the game properly. And what a shocking, shocking way to start a recording. Anyways, that's it for this recording. We'll come back and continue the story next time. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All of that helps me out. If you want to support me, you can click on my name, Rido. On the right will be a blue button that says support this channel. Click it, make a donation. And if you want a friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.